Hello and welcome. My name is HK, and today we're playing Ephorian again. Um, last time we left off, I had said that we were going to make some progress off uh, off camera, and we made plenty of progress. We're in a new ship. We have millions upon millions of <laughs> uh, iron now. But well, we had a lot more of it. I sold a bunch of it. <laughs> um, we now have ourselves a, our own a very own faction. We are called the Texas Armco. I have, a, I think, one ship inside of this. Sh yeah, one ship inside of the uh, the Armco, and it's in an area where there was nanite, so it's just sh and it's not mining in near that. I need to make another ship to do that. Uh, Emblems and stuff. I, I I really don't like messing with the emblems too much. We have a bunch of stuff. We just been fighting pirates left and right and gaining just a lot of loot. Just a lot of loot. Um, some of these are inside of the um, the. This is the alliance's vault. This is my vault. This is how much money is inside of the Alliance, which is almost a million. And this is how much money I currently have. Two million. Uh, I made quite a bit of progress. That mining drone is doing nothing but mining ore, and all that ore is going into the Alliance's inventory. Which can then be sold for more money. Once I, uh, if I, if I withdraw some of that, that iron and stuff out. But I don't need to currently, because I can just deposit another million in there if I desperately need to. Um, the ship that I'm currently on is a, it's actually a Star Wars build, modified by yours truly, to have a decent amount of shield. So we have shields now! We only have 3k shields, we only have 5k HP, so we have more armor, more hull I should say, we have more hull than we do shields, which, that's, that's a good thing. But in, my, in retrospect, you should always have more shields than, than uh, your hole is. Because the shields are going to be naturally going to be the first thing that comes up. And I'm only able to make the shields because uh, you have Neonite. We have a few new weapons on here. I don't know why it's doing that. Those are my... Those are actually bolter cannons, but because of the the turret shaping that I have on here, because the, these turrets have been reshaped to actually look like Star Wars turrets, um, they are now completely different colors. We have point defense cannons, we have two up here on the top, and we have two more on the bottom, covering all of our bases, and we're looking pretty good. Now. We were making a bunch of money, and in fact, um, I'm just wanting to sell a huge chunk of this after I go collect some loot, because I was fighting a little minute ago. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, we destroyed this guy. Ah, oh, there it is. Also work to increase my relationship with the uh, with this group a little bit better. I'm to the point where I'm past because uh, I, I, I was I was just barely into their neutral. Now I'm a little bit deeper, and they'll sell me some better um, uh, equipment as you can see here. And 
this is the the Quoro Army. Quoro Army. Yeah. Weird names. Alright, I should be in the docking lane now. As it grabs my ship and pulls me in to dock range. Alright, we got a million here. I want to bring that down to 52. So we're going to sell one million. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to sell at least. So first things first, the iron, and we're gonna, you're gonna see something pop up, and it's gonna be yellow, and that's gonna be the credits. Yeah, we made three million off of just selling that iron. So now we have, now we're sitting at five million. Um, titanium, four hundred thirty thousand, and the new neonite, five hundred. You can see the difference here. A hundred thousand is almost a half a million for the titanium. Thirteen thousand is almost half a million with neonite. If I had more neonite to sell, oof, I, I could I, I wouldn't have to worry about money. And I and, and right now I actually don't have to worry about money. You see how fast my iron is being recouped? Really fast. Plus, if I need even more iron, I can always pull from the uh, alliances stuff. Our mining job well done. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Because I, I, I made a lot of this money using the R, a couple of R turrets on one of the drones. I turned my old ship into a drone. Take off, and I painted it red, black, and orange. Negative 272 by 213. That means you're close to me, actually. Because I am negative 272 by 213. Oh, that's right, you're in this sector. You are in this sector. That is right, I made you here. So you're mining all that nail night that's over there. I gotta fix the energy efficiency of my ships, man. Can I install a module? No, the only, the only, the best module I have is this blue one, but it won't give me enough, as much power as this green one is. It's giving me over 50% 50, 50 extra power, so. Blue one is only a recharge rate as well, so why are you out here in the middle of the booms? You need to go and refine those ores. You need to go and mine. Oh, y'all, you ate all the asteroids. Oh.
to get to that sector on mine. Perfect. That's why they're just sitting over here. They eat all the asteroids. should be refining those ores. I should see a ch good chunk of neonite. Hopefully. I gotta watch this. It's not refining. You should have some neonite in your... Or not. You don't have anything in your coffers. I upgraded you, right? Yeah, you're upgraded with... Extended warp. So you should be able to actually make that jump over there. With these. Um... I need you to go to the other sector over here, and I need you to mine. Then I need you to refine, and then mine again, and then I need you to be on a loop. There you go. That works for me. Um, we need to actually head to that other sector ourselves because it has a jump gate that will get us to the other side of that rift. So, whoopsie daisy. Where is our... Actually, let's go here. We need to combat test our ship. This is the only place I know in this area that has ships that I can use the combat test. That? And those are the turrets I control. The other turrets are automated. And those are my uh, point defense turrets, so I'll keep torpedoes off my butt. And where we go? I'm gonna go for a good jump. And actually, after this combat test, I'm actually going to cut the video short here. It's going to be a super short video um, because I'm a, I need, there's another video I want to work on. So, uh, yeah. And as always, these videos are mostly for my family and friends. Uh, anyone that watches them, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I do appreciate any feedback you can give me to make the videos even better. I don't tend to edit these videos when it comes to Avorian because there's a lot of stuff inside of Avorian. Um, and then uh, the, the the next video coming out, which will be today as well, hopefully. Hopefully, it, it will most likely be more towards later in the evening. There we go. Okay. Jump there. All right. All right. And we got. Ooh, lovely now. Now, if I could get this area cleared, I can mine here for a while. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I'm doing so much damage. Oh my god. <laughs> so much damage. My shields are helping.
can't move too much when there's a torpedo at me. That's off. I have to let my point defense cannon steal with the torpedoes. This is exactly why I said if I had half sh uh, six, uh, 80 percent shields, I would feel comfortable fighting them. Look at my shields being ripped to shreds right now. One of those guys has a pulse cannon and. and But my Vulture cannons are antimatter, and these guys didn't have any shields, so that was ripping through their hole more than they were ripping through my shields. Whew. Shields are awesome, but if you don't have as enough shielding to keep you uh, protected during the fight, you're going to lose your ship. And I'm not playing this on easy mode, I'm playing this on veteran, so... Yeah. If it seems like I'm playing the safe game, it's because I'm absolutely playing the safe game. <laughs> now. <clears throat> this sector of space, I can actually claim as my own. It has neonites, titanium, iron, oh my god. I'll just need to build a few ships. And... Do I have another captain on the ship? Please tell me I have another captain. Yes! Okay, so I can build another mining ship and transfer this captain over. Hopefully. I don't have the crew, so whenever I spawn that ship, it's gonna have to be a teeny tiny little miner. And it gonna have a lot of resources here to mine. I probably should just... I should probably bring in the big miner over here and get the little miner over here as well. Or, no, no, no. Big miner and then little miner needs to be... Uh, I could just make the little miner. Yeah, yeah. I can always just make it a little minor. Alright, let me see. Oh, we need to... We need to... Found it. Found the ship. Oh my god, Trinium. <sighs> so I can't found another ship. Until I have Trinium. What if I make this an alliance ship? The iron. <sighs> no, that's fine. That is fine. We're, we're going to name this the SMD Small Mining Drone Dash 07 because this would be the seventh mining drone that I would have built. And we're going to spawn it in. We're going to go to edit the build plan. We're going to pick up our... Where's our drone? There's our drone. Our drone. Our handy dandy ship that is now named the Lady Electra, which is the new ship that we have. Because this was the, the, the ship, what it looked like before I had upgraded it to something that had Neonite in it. So this was Lady Electra. I'm keeping the design um, as it is because it's a good freighter. And that block right there is just even more cargo. So, yeah. Perfect for freight and perfect for mining. Super cheap. Only only 253,000 cre uh, credits. It's actually relatively cheap. It's not good to get early game, though. This is more late game. Mid or mid game. Right? When you have the money to buy a really good freight or mining vessel. Right? So, there we go. Mining your own. Super cheap. 3,000 credits. Perfect. And no issues here. Now that we got that up on here, we can put mining turrets on here. Oh, we don't have any mining, mining turrets inside the faction because it's not going to pull from off of that inventory. It's going to pull from off of the faction. So go to Alliance, we go to the vault, and we need to put some mining turrets in here. In fact, I'm going to grab 
two of those doubles, put those in there. I'm gonna keep those with them, so I'm gonna put all those in there. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, good, good. They're good ones too. 14.7. Ah. Uh, see, that, that's an iron mining. Oh, it's iron ore mining turret. Ah. Okay, you salvage turn. I'll put that in there too. What do I got here? Vultures. Anti-fighters and nanites. That probably would be good. Double bolter turrets. Chain gun turrets. I'll put a couple of those in there. Um, chain turret, chain turret. I should sell that crap, but I'm going to put it in here for now. Just so my drones can have some weapons later on. Right now, they're not going to have squat. Because I believe I only have four crew. So the most I could do is put down two mining mining units on this ship and then transfer over a captain. So that's the most that I'm going to be able to do with this setup. So let's um, get a turret. We need these two turrets here. I said X when I meant Y. No, no, it was I meant X was right. So I can just put these right here. Or do I want them like this? No, this would be better. That'd be much better. We're gonna go P. We're gonna make sure this is on auto input. Then we're going to well, we're going to do something actually here. We're gonna give our little ship a little bit of a defense. It is I probably want a more crew. Bigger crew and module. All right, and then from there, I want a shield generator. Oh, I don't have any nail knives. This is using resources that the faction owns, so I need to deposit fifty thousand nail knives. It doesn't end. There you go. Now, I need you to match that. Shouldn't it shouldn't mess with your energy generation too bad? Yeah, it's not. So that's good. Um, it is it is going to give it more shielding than it has HP. So that's great. Um, but I want to fix that. Uh, I want to fix that. Energy issue there. Nail night generator. We're gonna put a nail night generator right there. Then we're gonna put a little bit of armor on it. Legit armor. We're going to tone this down and change the scale. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot to match block. Because we want it to sync with the block. And let it cover the block in its entirety. Okay, why isn't it like there we go? Troubling. Alright. And, and we gotta get that crew quarters armored up. Oops, didn't mean to do that one, but it works. Um Is there any holes in this? Doesn't look like it. Everything looks good. Didn't even mess up the the thrust to mass ratio that this ship is known for being really nimble and able to turn on a dime. All right, now <clears throat> let's get closer to you. And let's transfer that captain over. then I can actually automate it. So we're going to go... And let me see. We gotta get out of that ship. Now we gotta get in this ship, and we need to go... Like this. I'll give it its auto. 
Bros. I need you to mine. Go mining, buddy. We're gonna press B and we're gonna get this guy over here and he's gonna be mining as well. Um, namely this guy. It's going to take him like at least three jumps, maybe. Jump, jump, mine asteroids, jump, jump, refine, and we want him to loot that, so he'll go right back to jump, jump. So, loot that. Go mine, and then once everything is said and done, he'll come back. There you go. He has one more jump. We're going to see it in here shortly.